I saw this question on YouTube, and uh, it is done by uh, Contour and uh, Residue. Those are sophisticated method. But here I have a my way of doing it is much much shorter. Okay, of course this question can be done by well at least a couple of uh, methods. One could be this method. We analyze, uh, we, we factorize the denominator, uh, this denominator could be written as uh, x squared plus 5 squared, right? Minus 4x squared, yeah, that's correct. So this one is equal to and this minus 2x squared. So it can be done with uh, like x squared plus 2x plus 5 and uh, x squared minus 2x plus 5. So it can be factored. Then uh, the, the integral i could be written as a uh, uh, x squared plus 2x plus 5 and uh, dx plus this one uh, x squared minus 2x plus 5 uh, dx this is ax plus b right this is cx plus d then I use a uh, partial fractions to determine the coefficients a, b, c, d. Then um, do these two integrals separately, one by one, using uh, substitution method and uh, completing square and so on. It's quite complicated. Well, at least it's uh, quite some calculations before you get to, get to the result. This is, this is a, one method. Now, I have my method. Well, after a couple of hours of uh, research, and I find my job, my 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 solution is, I believe, is the best in terms of uh, shorter, less calculation, and uh, using all the basic integrations. No sophisticated method. No sophisticated techniques, all uh, very basic and simple calculations. So, okay, now I do this one by first uh, rewrite the numerator. This is the denominator. The numerator, I write this way 4x squared plus 20 plus 3x squared minus 15 dx. Now, okay, of, of course I'd, I want to uh, change this integral into 2, right? And the first one is uh, 4, 4 is a common factor. This will be x squared plus 5. And the dx, this is x fourth plus 6x squared plus 25. Plus this one has a common factor 3. And the denominator is this x fourth plus 6x squared plus 25. And the numerator will be x squared minus 5. That's correct. Now then, uh, I divide uh, the numerator and denominator both by x squared. So this will be 1 plus 5 over x squared. This will be x squared 
plus 6 plus 25 of x squared dx. And for that integral, I do the same thing, divided by x squared, and you get x squared plus 6 plus 25 of x squared. This will be 1 minus 5 over x squared. Now, then something happened, which is a wonderful. I rewrite it, the numerator as a, the derivative of a x minus 5 over x. This derivative is 1. This derivative with respect to x is 5 over x squared negative, right? And uh, I can write a denominator in terms of x minus 5 over x, which is uh, possible. I can write this one, x minus 5 over x squared. That will be x squared, 25x squared. And the midterm is a minus 10. I have 6, so I have to plus 16 to restore the equal sign. Similarly, I do this for the second integral. This one is a dx plus 5 over x. This derivative is 1. This derivative is a negative 5 over x squared, right? And I try to rewrite the denominator as a x plus 5 over x as a variable, which is possible, x plus 5 over x squared. So this is squares this, this squares that. The midterm is 10x. Midterm is 10. I have 16. So I take 4 away. Right? Make equal sign. The techniques in integration is uh, change the integral function at the same time they're maintaining the equal sign. So this one, I can use the formula. See, we have a basic formula, right? Uh, D star over star square plus A square. So this one is equal to 1 over A arctangent. Uh, star over A, right? The reason I'm writing star because uh, it could be a function instead of a single variable. Now there's another one, which is a D star, star square minus A square. That one is equal to 1 over 2A, natural log star minus A, and the star plus A. Okay, I believe that you you know these two formula, or can easily der derive by yourself. You know? This is partial fractions. This one is uh, using substitution. You can add this back. So I can use these two formula for these two results. So this one will be equal to four and one over four. Arctangent x over 5x over 4 from 0 to infinity. That one used in this formula is equal to 3 plus 1 over 2 times 2 natural log x plus 5 over x minus 4, x plus 5 over x plus 4, from 0 to infinity. Yeah, this one is a, this is a 1. As x approaches to infinity, this is 0. Therefore, this infinity becomes half point. When x is approaching to in zero, this will, will be negative infinity. So it becomes plus 
again. This one is equal to 3 over 4 natural log Right, we can times x, right? x squared minus 4x plus 5. x squared plus 4x plus 5. Then as x, well, <laughs> obviously that when x approaches to infinity, this is approaching to 1, right? Because this dominated term is the same. And uh, as x approaches to 0, this is also approaching to 1. You use, use Lapidar's rule or whatever. Then this is equal to 0. So this is the result is pi. See? This is 0. So the answer is pi. Uh, I did it with um, basic cal calculations, basic techniques of ca uh, calculus, nothing sophisticated, nothing sophisticated. And uh, I believe this is the best method we can have. And uh, thank you.